My name is Ryan Blumenthal, forensic pathologist. Today I'm going to share one forensic technique with you. This technique is so powerful that it has even been used by fictional detectives. We are talking Tintin, Inspector Clouseau, Thomas Magnum, Inspector Gadget, you name it, these detectives have used this principle. This principle I use every single day. I eat this principle, sleep this principle, dream this principle. This is a very powerful principle. It works from the microscopic level to the macroscopic level. It works on atomic level to cosmic level. And this principle is Locard's principle, the law of interchange. Locard's principle is as follows. Wherever he steps, whatever he touches, whatever he leaves even unconsciously will serve as a silent witness against him. Not only his fingerprints or his footprints, but his hair, the fibers from his clothes, the glass he breaks, the tool marks he leaves, the paint he scratches, the blood or semen he deposits or collects, all of these and more bear mute witness against him. This is evidence that does not forget. It is not confused by the excitement of the moment. It is not absent because human witnesses are. It is factual evidence. Physical evidence cannot be wrong. It cannot perjure itself. It cannot be wholly absent. Only human failure to find it, study it, and understand it can diminish its value. Sometimes an event is so quick that you cannot observe it. You don't know what it is or what it was. Take lightning, for example. If someone is struck by lightning, we will find signs of heat, barotrauma, signs of light injury, signs of electric phenomenon. And therefore we know that lightning must contain these components. It must have a heat component, a light component, a brass wave component, and an electromagnetic component. So what we discovered is we look for traces of lightning on the ground and on the human body or the animal body. And what we find on the human or animal body or the ground tells us about the nature of lightning. As an example, I can walk on the beach and without even entering the ocean, I can tell you what is in the ocean. We do this because what is in the ocean leaves signs of itself on the beach. Every contact leaves a trace. If you go to a scene, you will leave something there or you'll take something with you. This is what we use every single day in forensic pathology. One day, my friend bought me three rare quails as a gift. I didn't have a place to put them, so I left them in my back garden and I quickly went to the shops to buy a cage for my quails. When I got back, all three of my quails were dead. They were killed by my neighbor's cat. I took my three dead quails to my neighbor and I said, your pet killed my pets. To which the neighbor responded, how do you know it was my cat that killed your quails? To which I responded, lady, I'm a forensic pathologist. Do not make me swab my quails. Anyway, following day, my quailless life, I went to the university and I was walking around the grass park and I sat down on a bench and I stood up from the bench and on the posterior aspect of my trousers was present resin. The overhead trees had been leaking resin which had attached itself to the benches which attached itself to my trousers. No good deed goes unpunished. The following night I went to a wedding and in walked a guest with glitter makeup. By the end of the wedding, almost everyone had glitter all over their bodies. What do the quails, the wedding guest with the glitter and the trees have in common? Low cards principle. Every contact leaves a trace. The cat had bit the quails and deposited saliva and DNA on the quails. The wedding guest, the glitter had spread by means of low cards principle and the waxy resin from the trees dripped onto the bench and attached itself to my trousers. Low cards principle is dynamic and at play every single day. The entire wildlife tracking and poaching industries have low cards principle at its core. A really good tracker will be able to tell you everything about the spoor on the ground. For example, they will tell you that there are 10 elephants present of which one is pregnant. Ancient tribes used to be able to identify members of the tribe through their footprints. All of this is Locard's principle. Every contact leaves a trace. The problem is identifying it and interpreting it. This is where it gets exciting. 
Low cards principle, every contact leaves a trace. It sounds simple, but it goes very deep. For example, the contact it depends on the intensity, the duration and the nature of the contact. Some things may be subtle contacts, some things may be harder contacts. And for a good detective, you need to pick up what kind of contact was done. So for example, you may leave a fingerprint on something or a partial fingerprint on something. Now the spies have come up with a very clever phenomenon called UV dust. So what happens is you can buy this UV dust and dust it on an envelope, which is invisible in normal light. However, if you touch it, it gets onto your hands. And if you take an ultraviolet light, your hands shine green. So you can catch criminals green-handed. Even infections spread through low cards principle. You don't just get COVID. You come in contact with someone or an object with COVID. And for this reason, we can tell you that you got COVID from the person next door you in the hospital and not from the pizza delivery boy. So as forensic pathologists, we are looking for evidence. We are looking for trace. What is evidence? Evidence is anything that has shape or size. It could be as large as a house or it could be as fleeting as an odor. Every contact leaves a trace. As a medical detective, we have to seek out evidence and trace. If you really understand Locard's principle, and I mean really understand Locard's principle, you will have knowledge that not many people have. You won't believe this, but on your eyelashes and eyebrows are present mites. These mites are part of the normal human biology. You do not have to be afraid of these mites. These mites are called Demodex, and every single human has their own Demodex population. Now Demodex transfers from person to person. And if two people have the same Demodex population, that means they came in contact. In fact, every human has their own population of bacteria on their bodies. These are called biomes. So on my hand, I have my own bacterial population. Within my elbow, I have my own bacterial population. And through Locard's principle, I can tell you that this is my phone because my phone has my own biome population on it. So too with my shoe, etc. It has my bacterial population on it, not yours. So in conclusion, how do we as forensic pathologists use Locard's principle? We can tell you what caused an injury. So for example, if I see certain marks on the skin called tramline injuries, I can tell you that this person was hit with a stick or a bendy stick, such as a shambok, because every contact leaves a trace. So too, if someone stabs a leather jacket, we can tell you that that knife went through that jacket because of the specific shape that that knife leaves on that jacket. Every contact leaves a trace. We can connect the jacket to that knife. So if you open your eyes, you can be a medical detective in your own life. For example, if you have a dog at home, watch the dog hairs, see how they move through the house. If you're having a braai, you'll notice that the smoke will deposit itself on your hair and on your clothing. You will be able to tell someone that they were at a braai, and if you're that good, you'll even be able to tell them what they braied for dinner. We use Locard's principle to find out who done it.